Hi guys, Josh here. I have another video. Um, this one is more geared on what is contained inside Dark Age of Camelot. Uh, one of my favorite things. Uh, it's something I've only found in three video games in my entire life. Um, what you're looking at is the copies of the CDs for the music that I listen to in the background while I'm playing. Uh, it is not my own music. This is the artist. Her name is Fragma. One of her CDs was made in Germany that I ordered. And the other one was made here in the U.S., okay? Uh, my videos are getting hit with the copyright claims. That's not my intention. I'm not trying to make any money off of this stuff. I just really like her music. And as you can see, I've taken my favorite tracks and saved them to my iTunes. Uh, it's the only Apple product I use. It is the only product Apple ever got right. Anybody who owns an iPhone knows you got to climb a fucking tree or the Empire State Building to get a signal bar to actually make a telephone call with those paperweights. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and select the song. But just so you guys know, I'm not trying to steal her music or anything like that. I purchased it legally off of eBay. I've got credit card receipt transactions in my emails to prove it. I don't be doing stuff to break the law. Which is kind of confusing considering my other videos and the comments that are on it and who might be making those comments. But we're going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so what you're looking at is a little known merchant in Turn and Og, Okay, and it looks like a normal merchant. There should be one of these in each of the three realms. But it's what she sells. Yes. Mythic and electronic arts actually do include marriage in the game, okay? Uh, as you can see, she does give you a little bit of an explanation, and as you click on the different things, you know, she'll tell you about the different information. She'll cover the wedding licenses, the flowers, the rings, refreshments, and she even includes wedding traditions, which is really cool. Uh, there's different traditions. Um, you know, this is stuff you could even probably use in real life. Uh, she talks about coins, wine, swords. The swords is one of my personal favorites. Um, okay, one sword is family bloodlines held in trust for the first son. Second sword symbolizes power of guardianship and protection. All right, anybody who knows anything about love, you're supposed to protect each other. Just like in chess, the queen protects the king. The king's the most important piece, but can only move one square. The queen can move anywhere, any direction. All right, now, if you want to get into the Bible, it's the men that are supposed to be protecting the women. So if you look at the concepts of chess and biblical concepts, in marriage, we're supposed to protect each other, okay? That's what love is about, all right? But I just wanted to cover this uh, because the only things that are missing from her list, and I mean, there's no extra pages, are, you know, the decor that your characters would actually wear. Now, as you can see, I'm using my nightshade today. Um, I'm not logged into Cindy. But the reason I wanted to cover this is I'm not sure if this is a bugged merchant or if it was meant to be hidden. Um, this is something that, you know, American society doesn't really like to promote anymore. Um, I'm not sure if that's why there are so many players in this game that are actively seeking and attempting to destroy this game and ruin it for everybody else. But honestly, like, I think we have a beautiful thing here with a worldwide server. I mean, I've talked to people in Holland. I used to have friends back in 2007 in France that I talked to that knew how to speak English. There's still some French players in Hib now that I talk to every now and then. Um... I have a friend named Sarah that lives in Australia. She used to play Rust. I've told her about this game. And, you know, like, if you guys live in different countries and you're talking all the time and you're best friends and, you know, I don't see a problem with this as, you know, you might not be married in real life, but what's wrong with doing it in a video game? I, I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, if you guys love each other that much, who am I to judge? But, uh, you know, I think this is probably one of the coolest things. Uh, you know, she talks about the colors. Like, green indicates youth and energy. Red is a power color. Um, I know here in America, we traditionally use white. Okay, my sexism is going to come out here a little bit. And, you know, men are probably going to laugh and women are probably going to want to hit me with a pitchfork. But, you know, 
us men, we know why our wives have white wedding dresses. It's because we want our dishwasher to match all the other kitchen appliances. Um, but anyway, uh, so, you know, if you actually have a, you know, a really good friend, and I don't know if you can do, you know, if you have to be a male-female tune, I don't know where you would get the wedding dresses. I've tried doing tailoring on Cindy. She's not quite legendary. Um... And I don't know if it has to be male or female. Uh, if you check Annabla's like wedding customs and things like that, uh, more information. Uh, she just says you need to have one to have the official wedding. Um, there's nothing wrong with getting married, and yeah, she doesn't say it has to be between a man and a woman. So I mean, I. I don't know if any of that would matter, and once again, who would I be to judge? I just think this is a really cool concept. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this video, and you guys take care and have fun.